Lesson four, computer basics. We've had a brief introduction to computers and the internet. In the next three lessons, we'll be going into a little bit more depth. Learning how to use a computer can feel like drinking from a fire hose. That said, there are some basic concepts that you should understand before diving into more advanced topics. Let's take a look at the basics of computer use, including understanding the components of a computer, how to use a mouse and keyboard, and how to navigate the operating system. Understanding computer components. When it comes to computers, you don't need to be an expert in order to make effective use of them. However, it is helpful to have an understanding of the basic parts and functions of your machine. A typical desktop or laptop computer consists of four main components, the monitor, the computer itself, mouse and keyboard. The monitor is what allows you to view content on your computer. This includes text, images, video, and so on. With the desktop, you'll have a separate monitor, but on a laptop, it's the screen. If you have a desktop computer, there will be a main computer, often a black box, and this houses all the components. It's responsible for processing data and executing commands given by you. In a laptop, all the components are generally in the body of the machine under the keyboard. The mouse and keyboard are input devices that allow you to interact with your machines by sending commands or typing information into your computer. Using a mouse and keyboard. Most modern computers come equipped with both a mouse and keyboard as input devices. On a laptop, you'll have a trackpad that serves the same function, although many people do prefer to use an external mouse as they're easier to use. To use either one effectively, you must understand its specific functions and capabilities. For example, when using a mouse, you must learn how to move the cursor around on your screen, as well as click on items within programs or on web pages. With a keyboard, you must understand how to type words accurately, as well as utilize special keys such as shift or control in order to execute certain commands. Additionally, many keyboards come with dedicated keys that can be used to launch applications or perform other tasks quickly without needing any additional clicks or typing from you. The computer can only do what you tell it to do. If you type something incorrectly, it doesn't have the capacity to work out what you mean. Navigating the operating system. Finally, in order for you to make full use of your machine, you must understand how your operating system works and how you can navigate through its various features and settings. Most modern computers run either Windows 10 or Windows 11, both made by Microsoft, or Mac OS, which is made by Apple. Both operating systems have similar features, such as folders for organizing files and programs, However, they do differ in terms of design language and interface elements, so it's important for you to become familiar with each one's unique quirks if possible. Additionally, most operating systems include built-in help menus that provide an overview of the various features available, so you can learn more about your particular machine without having any prior knowledge or experience with computers in general. Takeaway. Understanding the basics of computers is essential if you want to make better use of your machine, whether at home or in an office setting. Clearly, these skills are becoming increasingly important in today's digital age. In this lesson, we discuss some introductory concepts related to computer basics, including understanding components of your machine, like monitors, and learning how to properly use input devices like mice and keyboards, and navigating through different operating systems, all key skills needed when first starting out with computing. In the next lesson, we're going to take a little more in-depth view look at the internet.